Amen. Tonight, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Thank the you, Lord. Jesus. Please. Father, I thank you. Lord, we bless you. I thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Father, tonight for your word that is about to come to us. Father, we thank you, Lord, that this is your word. Yes. It is not the word of man. No. And I thank you, Father, that as I stand as your, as your mouthpiece, Father, no. I will not speak a thousand words of human wisdom, Lord. But the words will come forth with Holy Ghost and with power tonight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It will be that which you want to deliver Amen. to us tonight. Amen. Father, Lord, without any interest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you that your word will come forth with all boldness. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. With all utterance tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And may all the glory goes to you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Psalm 12. Psalm chapter 12. I'm just going to read from verse 1. This is the Psalm of David and is a cry for help. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a cry for help. The Bible says, Jesus to disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone with his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips. And may the tongue that speaks proud things. May the tongue that speaks proud things and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor. For the signing of the needy. Now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the, in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth. Purify seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked proud on every side when vileness, when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a cry for help. Amen. Amen. The title of the conference is The Godly Woman. Amen. Amen. We can also say The Godly Man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's The Godly Woman. We are living in a day and age, in a, gen in, in a generation where things are falling apart. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Things are falling apart. How many of you read that book? Mm -hmm. Like uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Amen. We read it in school. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We are living in a generation where things are falling apart. And this is a cry for help. Amen. There has never been a generation as this. Hallelujah. There has never been a generation as this where iniquity is abounding and the love of many are waxing cold. Hallelujah. He said, Help, Lord. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. I was talking to my children. I said, my children, I said, why does he always say man? He doesn't say woman. I said, because before God, man and woman is one. Yeah. So when he say man, don't say he's not talking about women. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, the ungodly man ceases. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, there is neither male nor female. No Greek, no Jew. Everyone is one before God. Praise the Lord. So the ungodly woman ceases. The, ungodly, the godly woman ceases. The godly man ceases. Praise the Lord. The faithful ceases. Put it in the amplified version. Let me see. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no godly person anymore. He said everyone speak idly to their neighbors. Amen. Amen. We are talking about being godly. We want to be godly. Amen. Amen. We want to be the godly people that God has called us to be. That he has destined and ordained us to be. Praise the Lord. But unfortunately, when we look around us, I'm talking about the body of Christ now. I'm not talking about the world. Amen. The world is supposed to be imitating the church. But unfortunately, the church is imitating the world. Praise the Lord. There is so much ungodliness going on in the church. Hallelujah. 
And that is why we have a conference like this. I don't just wake up in the morning and say, oh, we want to have women's conference. Let me just give it a thing. No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is calling men and women of God to come up to that place where we begin to live a godly life. Amen. Amen. We we'll begin to live a life of godliness. Hallelujah. Amen. No longer trying to... The Lord is good. Amplify. Help, Lord. For principled and godly people are here no more. No more principled people. People don't, don't, they want to do what they like. Everybody, every man for himself. Don't tell me what to do. You are not here for you. You are not here for me. No more principled people. Praise the Lord. In the church, you can't tell anybody what to do. Everybody wants to do what they want to do. The, this is what the Bible says. It's not Betty that wrote it. It's the, it's the word of the Lord. He said, for principled and godly people are here no more. Faithfulness and the faithful vanish among the sons, sons of, men. of men. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 They speak idly, everyone with his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. Thank God for technology. You don't have to lie. You, don't have to, you can't have to lie face to face anymore. You lie through the phone. You lie through email. You try, lie through Facebook everywhere. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 People of God. No more fear for God. No more reverence for God. Praise the Lord. No more reverence for God. People lie like we drink water. Amen. People lie like drinking water. It doesn't mean anything to us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, may the Lord cut off all flattering lips. May you not be cut off in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the tongue that speaks proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Hallelujah. People talk anyhow. People talk anyhow. They forget who they are. That they are children of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They forget that they are children of God. Amen. Amen. Because iniquity is abounding every day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Me and my husband were watching the news and they were protesting. Say the, 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 what the, the, the government is saying about abortion yes. is not right. They have to put it right. Why would they or after the, the they were just saying a lot of a lot of things. I say, see, the world is coming to an end. <laughs> the world is coming to an end. Everybody is fighting for their rights. Everybody is fighting for their right. We are living in an ungodly world, but we are godly people. Mm. Praise the Lord. And the one, the Lord is calling the godly people to arise and be godly. Amen. Mm. He's calling the godly to arise and be godly. Praise the Lord. Mm. What did he say in the book of Revelation chapter 22? He said, let those that are just, let them be just. Mm. Those that are filthy, let them stay filthy. Let me know where you are mm. and know who you are. And then I know how to deal with, deal you. with you. Praise the Lord. He said, let them put Revelation chapter 22. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm just clearing the ground. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Revelation 22. Okay, verse 11, sorry. He said... He who is unrighteous, just, wicked, let him be unrighteous still. And he who is filthy, vile, impure, let him be filthy still. And he who is righteous, just, upright, in right standing with God, let him do right still. And he who is holy, let him be holy still. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we are living in a perverse generation. Amen. Amen. We are living in a perverse generation. Hallelujah. Amen. And the people of God are not doing anything about it. Amen. Instead of us to be doing something about it, we are trying to blend. We are trying to blend. We want to belong. No! We can't belong because we are godly people. Godly people cannot... They say, what accord does, 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 does uh, God has with the devil? Praise the Lord. So the people of God cannot blend. Amen. Amen. With the things that are not of God. Hallelujah. We cannot blend with the things that are not of God. Amen. Amen. God is calling us to a higher level of godliness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why the theme for this conference is the godly woman. Amen. The godly man. There was no scripture. So I didn't put scripture. I'm sure some people will be wondering. Mama, he didn't, didn't tell us scripture. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We are not only 
conference because we want to entertain people. No. We are holding conference because we want to speak the heart of God. Praise the Lord. We want to speak the heart of God. God wants people to arise and be godly. Amen. If you don't want to be godly, let's know. You can't, you know, you can't serve the Lord and serve the devil. You have to be somewhere. You cannot be in between. You, you are either godly or ungodly. If you are ungodly, we know you are ungodly. The people that are in the pub drinking now, they don't think about God. No. They know where they are. They know where they belong. God knows they are. The Bible said the foundation of God stands sure. Yes. The Lord knows those that are his. Praise the Lord. He knows those that are his. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I know I belong to him. Hallelujah. If you belong to him, you say it. Amen. Amen. That I belong to him. Hallelujah. You are saved. You are sanctified. Amen. You are bought with a price. Amen. Amen. You belong to him. Belong. And we have to start acting like we belong to God. Amen. Amen. We don't belong to the world. We cannot act like the world. Praise the Lord. Talk like the world. Amen. Behave like worldly women behave. Behave like worldly men behave. There is no difference. We go out there. They can't differentiate between a, 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 a man of God and a, a, a man of the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. But the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He's calling us to a higher level of godliness, Amen. of consecration and faithfulness. Amen. Praise the Lord. He said, help Lord. The faithful man ceases. God is calling faithfulness back. Amen. Amen. He's calling faithfulness back. Amen. Amen. We have to come to a place where we understand, know and reckon within ourselves that this is who I am. This is who we are. Praise the Lord. This is our life. We don't have another life. This is the life we have. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is there anyone that wants to serve me? Take up your cross and follow me. If you are not ready to take up the cross, wait, then you, you just sit down. Praise the Lord. That is why the devil beat a lot of people in church. Because they are one leg in and one leg out. But if the devil knows that you are godly, then he knows where to go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A lot of people crying, having problems here and there. Why? Say the devil. Everything is the devil. Everything is the devil. And the devil is standing crying. Say, God, why me? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have to know that this is our life. We have no other life. Amen. Apart from Christ. Amen. There is no other life apart from Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why we sang that song. Great is your mercy. Amen. Great is your mercy. I know where the message of God has brought me from. He brought me from the Mary clay. He washed me and set my feet upon a rock. Hallelujah. So I don't have another life. I remember one day I was discouraged. My husband said, I told you before I married you now that this is our life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, and it's done on me that this is my life. Do I want to go back to the world? No. When I was in the world. Me and my husband were bringing the roof down at the yeah, yeah. The roof refused to come down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then God said, okay, since the roof refused to come down, you come to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So do I want to go back to the world? No. no. This is my life. Amen. Somebody said, this is my life. This is my life. Unless if you are not sure about it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is my life. Amen. Amen. God has called us unto godliness. And we must live that godly life. Amen. Enough of, I uh, know, enough is enough. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Enough is enough because I think God himself is tired. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I think yes. God himself is tired yes. of us. Yes. Praise the Lord. We think we are doing God a favor. Yeah. We think we are doing God a favor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we have to come to a place where we know that, no, this is my life. Mm. I have no other life. If I'm not serving God, what will become of me? Mm. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, Amen. I cannot count how many accidents I had. The cars were beyond repair, but I was still alive. Before I gave my life to Christ. From I gave my life to Christ till now, I've never had an accident. Hallelujah. But before I gave my life to Christ, the devil tried to kill me. That's why I sang that song. He said, darkness tries to steal my heart away. But mercy said no. Because the Lord knows the plan he had for me. Amen. Amen. I can't count how many accidents I've had in life. Cars beyond repair. Friends, had friends hospitalized, but I will still be standing. No, no, no pain will touch me. I was saying to my husband, you know, it just dawned on me. I was just while I was on the mountain. I was just meditating. I said, 
If I begin to count the blessings of the Lord, I will not be able to finish. Mm -hmm. I was telling my husband, there was a day one guy called me. He called me from London. He said, hello. I said, hello. He called my native name. He said, is that you? I said, yes. For somebody to call that name, you must really yes. know me. The time men were men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. No, when mama was a holy yes. <laughs> Amen. I said, yes, it's me. Who am I speaking with, please? He said, uh, your elder sister gave me your number. He said, I didn't tell her anything, but I just asked for your number because I want to talk to you personally. I said, what happened? Who are you? He called his name and I couldn't remember who the person was. Mm -hmm. He said, he, he's a, he was a friend with my elder brother. And he said, when he, call, when he called my sister, my sister, they were talking, and my sister said, mention that I'm now a pastor. And then he said, a pastor? My sister said, yes, she's a pastor. She's in Ireland with her husband. He said, give me a number. <laughs> and my sister gave him my number and he called. And he said, do you know why I'm calling you? He said, I just want to thank God for your life. Hallelujah. I said, really? He said, yes. He said, because I remember, because we live, you know, in Nigeria, no fence, every house, my house now your house, yeah, house yeah. is my house, you know. So he said, he remembered when I was small, I think my mom went to the market and left me with my sister. And my sister maybe left me and went inside. And he said he saw a cobra came from nowhere. He was just walking past and saw a cobra came from nowhere and came around me. And I was just there crying and crying and crying. Nobody came. And he couldn't come near because he was afraid of the snake. Yes. And the cobra was there looking at me and I was crying. The cobra was looking, I was crying. When he looked and looked and looked, he just... Mm went away. So he said when my sister told him that I'm now a pastor, he said that's why he asked for my number. He didn't even tell my sister why he wanted to call me. He just wanted to tell me that no, ah, no. Now he knows there is God. Hallelujah. That God has kept me from that cobra mm -hmm. because for, for this purpose. Yes. So why would I not praise God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how many years ago. I don't even know the guy. If I see him now, I wouldn't know him. You know? And I was also telling my husband that there was no one was small. You know, when I was small, I encountered a lot of things. When I, you know, the devil, see, that's why I wanted to kill Moses. Now. Yes. We all know the story in the Bible. The devil always wants to destroy destinies before their time. Mm -hmm. But he can't succeed and he will not. Amen. 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 I was telling my husband that when I was small, you know, my mom, she always made farm in the village and all that. We don't go, but this time we were on holidays, she took us and she said we should go with her, just go with her to the farm instead of leaving us at home. Oh. And then we went. And then my mom then, she used to make markets of gari and all those things. And then they harvest cassava and all that. And then she said, okay, anybody that takes cassava, if it's one, just take it. From the farm to the road, for the car to take it. Yeah. I will buy you a car and I come yes. with the money. Hey, everybody run! <laughs> you know, we want to go. So my mom said, no, 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 you, you are too small. I should go with my elder sister and let the rest be going. We were going. My elder sister went past. As I was coming, a snake came out of the bush. Just came out from the bush. Stood in the middle of the road, looking at me, I was looking at the snake. I was in primary six. And then I said, sister, she was going. I said, sister, snake. She didn't turn back. When I said, sister, see snake, she, had, she don't reach where my mom had <laughs> And I was standing there. The snake was looking at me and I was looking at the snake. I didn't move, the snake didn't move. The snake looked and looked and looked and entered the bush. Hallelujah. And my mommy was running naked. Where my picking no, you know? And she came. Where, where is the snake? I said, the snake is that bush. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So countless, countless of the blessings of God. What is it that God has not done that we cannot live for him? Mm. Amen. Mm. What is it? Sparing our life alone. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's enough to live for him. Amen. We are crying for bread and butter, like my husband said. People will just wake up and be crying they don't have butter for their bread. What kind of rubbish is that? Amen. Amen. That God kept us. If it had not been for the Lord, would we be fighting for a car to drive? Would we be fighting for food to eat? No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His mercy has kept us. Amen. So why would we not live a godly life? I have vowed to live a godly life. Because I don't have any other life. When I was in the world, all the devil did was try to kill me. But he couldn't because God did not allow him. Praise the Lord. That was all he did. That was all he did. But from the day I gave my life to Christ, till today, I have not had accident. 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. And all the time. Are we being blessed? I know maybe this is not what you came to hear, but this is what God wants you to hear. Somebody said, This is what the Lord wants me to hear. Hallelujah. This is what God wants us to hear. Let's not be no, let's not be coming to church anymore and waiting, oh prophecy, oh lay hands on me. No, this is what we, should, we want to hear now in churches. We have to be godly people because we are babysitting too much and nothing is happening. No power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So what does it mean to be godly? Man, we are talking about being godly. Being a godly woman. Amen. Being a godly woman. Being a godly man. Hallelujah. To be godly is different from being nice. Amen. To be godly is not to be nice. To be nice is different. Praise the Lord. To be godly is to be pious. In other words, to be, de to be devoted and be faithful. Amen. It means to be set apart. Hallelujah. It means to be set apart. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 4, verse 2, it says, How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. Hallelujah. Him who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. The Lord hear when the godly call. Oh, yes. And the Lord said he has set apart him that is godly. So it's not everybody that is set apart. Mm -hmm. It's those, only those that are godly that are set apart. Yeah. So to be godly is to be set apart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read Psalm 4, 2 to 3. Okay, you have it on the screen. Amen. Amen. To be godly is to be holy. Praise the Lord. First Peter 1 3 says, uh, 13, he said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. holy. Hallelujah. So to be godly is to be holy. Amen. 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 To be godly is to be merciful. Praise the Lord. Because our God is merciful. Amen. Amen. Our God is merciful. He said in the book of Matthew, he said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody that is not born again cannot be godly. Whether man or woman, nobody not born again cannot be godly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You are godly because you have the nature and the character of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are godly because we have the nature and the character of God. Praise the Lord. The Bible said that we are partakers of his divine nature. Hallelujah. We are partakers of his divine nature. That's what the Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 1. Amen. If you are there, put it in the screen first, please. Amen. Amen. Second Peter chapter 1, 3 and 4. Put it in the King James. He said, according as his divine power had given unto us all things pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Verse 4. I'm not Amen. Why by giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Praise the Lord. He said we are partakers of God's divine nature. Amen. We are partakers of God's divine nature. Hallelujah. Amen. What did he say in verse 3? He said 
as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. His divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Amen. The divine power of God has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, His divine power. His divine power. Has given unto me, given unto me all, things all things that pertain, that pertain to, life to life and godliness. And godliness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So to be godly is to have the character and nature of God. Because we are partakers of God's divine nature. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are partakers of God's divine nature. Amen. So we have to pattern our life after Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is what it means to be godly. Mm -hmm. To pattern your life after Christ. Exactly. Is a, is a, is, it is a manner of life. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a manner of life. Amen. Amen. We have to pattern our lives after Christ. Because we are partakers of God's divine nature. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 3. Second Timothy 3, 12. What did he say? It says, yes. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ, in Christ Jesus, we suffer persecution. Amen. Amen. All who desire to live All who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus, we suffer persecution. Amen. Amen. But people don't want to suffer persecution. People don't want to suffer persecution. And for fear of persecution, people compromise. Nobody wants to suffer. Praise the Lord. Nobody wants to suffer persecution. But is there anyone that wants to live godly in Christ must suffer persecution? Praise the Lord. But if for fear of uh, uh, persecution, people will compromise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May you not compromise in Jesus' name. Amen. May you not compromise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. People compromise because they don't want to suffer persecution. They think it's too much. Mm. You know? I was saying to, to, to our people last time that we, some, some, more, some of us as believers, we think to suffer persecution is not to have a car. We think to suffer persecution is not to have money in the account. We think to suffer persecution is to be 30 and not have a husband. We have reduced it to, to not having things. That's what it means to suffer persecution. I said to them last time, I said, how many of you have suffered persecution? Let me see your hand. Even me, I do raise my hand. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because we are not suffering persecution. People that are suffering persecution are the people that are beheading in Iraq. That's it. Praise the Lord. People that are inside the cave looking for Bible to read. People that Boko Haram are slaying their, their truth in Nigeria. Then we are here comfortably. Then we have to beg ourselves to come to church. So we want to go and do God a favor. Let me go. If I don't go, if we say I, I didn't come. <laughs> then I have to go. I have to go. If I don't go, they will say I didn't come. No. Praise the Lord. You know, one day I stood, I finished ministering. I just finished ministering and we shared the grace. Everybody was just going. And the Lord said, my gathering is being turned to a social gathering. Mm -hmm. That is, the gathering of the Lord is being turned to a social gathering. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because people come, my people come, my people go. Mm -hmm. We don't experience anything. Why? Because we think that is how life is. Amen. Amen. We think that is how life is. No, that is not how life is. Because we have the divine nature, nature of God. Amen. Amen. And God wants us to pattern our life according to Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we think that being godly is not having the form of God. The Bible says having the form of God, denying the power. Having, being godly is not to have the form of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not to have the form of God. That same Chapter 3, I just read it from verse 1. He said, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. 
perilous times, hard times, stressful times. We are living in the last days. I was telling my husband what I, the, the message I was listening to in, in Viber. And then my husband said, I said, the man said something about God giving Nigeria 30 years. My husband said, ah, 30 years. With all this that is happening, will Jesus not come before 30 years? <laughs> he said, I don't think that prophecy is right. He said, with this one, the world will soon end. With all this one that is happening, ah, Jesus will come before 30 years. Praise the Lord. Because of things that are happening. Amen. Because of the way, that, and believers, I don't know if the body of Christ, they've closed their eyes to it. Oh, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember in Revelation where we read. If you read further, it said I am coming quickly. quickly. Let everybody stay in their position. You don't have to move. Just be where you are. Be who you are. I am coming quickly. And my reward is with me to give to every man. Everybody has reward. It doesn't matter who you are. Your reward will come. <laughs> Meet you where you are. Fall yes. on your lap. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse 2, he says, For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. We are seeing all that. Mm -hmm. Slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, See, if, if somebody is throwing party today, you will see that place is full. Oh, yes. But you say, come to church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, come to church. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. God will help us. Amen. They are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. That is what it means. Amen. Amen. People can go everywhere but the house of God. Mm. Or ask me. Anyway, the day Jesus will come, he will, he will meet us anywhere he wants to meet us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Some people will say, before I was born, they have been saying, Jesus is coming. Jesus, Jesus has still not come. I say, ah, anybody that died today, Jesus has come. <laughs> anybody that died today, Jesus has come for that person. Ah. Okay. okay. God is good. Yeah. Having a form of godliness, but denying his power, and from such people turned away, for of this sort are those who creep into household and make captives of gullible women, loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Who did in the Amplified? God, this one, he just said it politely. Who did in the Amplified? Let me read that verse 6. Who did verse 6? It says, from among them, are those who want their way into homes and captivate silly and weak nurtured. He said silly. Call them silly. Silly women. Praise the Lord. He said they find their way inside home and capture silly women who cannot control themselves. Who are not self-controlled. Praise the Lord. Weak nature and spiritually dwarfed women. Yes. May you not be silly in Jesus' name. Amen. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You will not be weak nurtured, natured. Amen. You will not be spiritually dwarfed. Amen. Praise the Lord. That part is not for you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Loaded down with the body of their sin. Praise the Lord. The Bible says we should lay aside every sin and every weight. This one, the one you put on yourself, nobody put it. He said they are loaded down with the body of their own sin. And easily swayed and led away by various evil desires. Easily swayed and led away by every various evil desires. Praise the Lord. Any desire that is not of God is an evil desire. Any desire that is not of God is an evil desire. Some people will just see that they are desiring somebody else's wife. Somebody see that desiring somebody else's husband. It's an evil desire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Evil desires and seductive impulses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He said they are always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Who did in verse 7? He said these weak women will listen to anybody who will teach. Mm. Have you seen people? They are in every church. Yes. When you are preaching, right now, pastor, yes. they are in every church. <laughs> they know more than you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said these weak women will listen to anybody who will teach them. Mm. They are forever inquiring. 
and getting information. They get information. They don't do anything with it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. They are always getting information, but they are not doing anything. Those are not godly women. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what godly women, uh, woman is not. Amen. Amen. You are not that. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, I'm not that. I'm not that. Hallelujah. Amen. They get information, but are never able to arrive at a recognized, at a recognition and knowledge of the truth. They are not able. But the Bible says God desires that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. All men are saved, but not all men have come to the knowledge of the truth. We are still forcing people to come to the knowledge of the truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are still forcing people to come to the knowledge of the truth. So you see people, they move from this church today, go to this one tomorrow, they go everywhere. They are taught by everybody. They get information from everywhere, but they are not able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Psalm chapter 1. Are we getting something? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God is teaching us. God is teaching us. Praise the Lord. God is teaching us. Amen. He's teaching us. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 1. He said, Blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. What, does, what is the meaning of counsel? I'm asking. What's the meaning of counsel? Tell me, anybody. Praise the Lord. Who did the, who did the Amplified? Verse 1. He said, blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is the man who walks and lives not. You see all the qualities that just flow. Don't you want to be that? Oh, yes. I want to be that. I want to be blessed. I want to be happy. I want to be fortunate. I want to be prosperous. I want to be enviable. Let me see me and envy me. Praise the Lord. Because I'm not walking, or I'm not walking according to the advice of the ungodly. I wonder how Christians, their best friend will be an unbeliever. They take advice from the ungodly. And they are Christians. Praise the Lord. Christians, they will leave their pastor. Yeah. They will leave their brothers and sisters that are spiritually mature. They will go outside and go and be looking for advice from, from people that don't know God. And they will give them worldly advice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he says, is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice, their plans and their purposes, not stand submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk. Not sit down to relax and rest where there's comfort and the mockers. Do you know that some people, they go to unbelievers' house, they are cursing their pastor, yeah. they are laughing with them. They are even, <laughs> eh? some people, they, you, they will go, Christian, we go to unbelievers' house, yeah. they will be tearing down their sisters and brothers in the Lord. Yes. They will be laughing with them. Why? Because they don't understand that they have the divine nature of God. Because they don't understand that they are godly people. Because if we understand that we are godly people, somebody cannot be tearing your brother or your sister in your presence and then you are laughing with them. This is my brother and sister we're talking about. You know, I was talking to them last time that once we become born again, our blood is thicker than the blood of my mother. Jesus said, who is my mother and my brother? But these ones that are sitting down here with me. But we don't know that. That is when they are not able to come to the knowledge of the truth. The blood of Jesus is thicker than the blood of my brother and my sister. Praise the Lord. Amen. If my brother and my sister is not born again, these are my brothers and sisters, everyone sitting down here. Praise the Lord. You are my brother and my sister. I'm your sister. <laughs> Praise the Lord. These are my brothers and my sisters. Amen. So, where was I? Let me read it in my Bible. Amen. And it said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the counsel of the Lord. The law of the Lord is the counsel of the Lord. Not the ungodly counsel. A man that delights in the counsel of God is a godly man. Is a godly woman. Delights in the counsel of God. Hallelujah. His delight is in the counsel of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. A godly man and a godly woman. Meditate in the law of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, 
that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf shall not be withered, and whatever he does shall prosper. Amen. Amen. That is the godly woman. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the godly woman. Amen. Amen. Remember the Bible says in Psalm 128, verse 3. It said, your, uh, the, your wife shall be a fruitful vine in the midst of your house. Praise the Lord. That means your wife will be productive. A godly woman. What did he say? He said, you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You shall be a fruitful vine. You shall be productive. Why? Because you are not standing where the, you are not walking with where the ungodly are walking. Praise the Lord. You are not walking with ungodly counsel. Praise the Lord. You are not standing in the path of sinners. You are not sitting in the seat of the scornful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. Lord Amen. Amen. You know, what makes someone ungodly is where he or she is walking, standing, and sitting. What makes someone godly is where he or she is walking, sitting, and standing. Praise the Lord. What makes someone godly or ungodly is where you are walking, where you are standing, and where you are sitting. Praise the Lord. Where you are walking, where you are standing, and where you are sitting is very important. Praise the Lord. So you must check your position today. Yes. Amen. As godly men and women, we must check our position. Where am I walking? Where am I standing? Where am I sitting? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Galatians 5. Galatians 5.16. 5.16, it says, I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. So when you are walking is important. The Bible says walk in the spirit. Not walking in the counsel of the ungodly. But walking in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says in verse 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are living in the spirit. And we must walk in the spirit. We can't live in the spirit while we are in church. And walk after the counsel of the ungodly when we are outside. We must walk by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Are we being blessed? Oh, yeah. Is the Lord speaking? Yeah. Oh, I know the Lord yeah. is speaking. Even if you don't tell me, I know. Hallelujah. He's getting across. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's getting across. Hallelujah. Colossians 2. He said in verse 6, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him. Yes. As you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him. So where we are walking is important. Mm -hmm. Not in the counsel of the ungodly, but in the counsel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, standing in Galatians chapter 1, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made you free. And do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Stand fast. Somebody say, stand fast. Stand fast. Stand fast. Stand fast. Say, I am standing fast. I am standing fast. I am standing fast in the liberty by which Christ has made me free. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 4, 24. Second Corinthians 1, 24, it says, <coughs> now that we have dominion <coughs> sorry if you are there you can read for me <laughs> not that we have dominion over your faith but are fellow workers for your joy for by faith you stand amen, amen. amen. I heard you sorry sit down. thank you he said but for by faith you stand amen, amen. so we are standing in faith we are standing in the position of faith. Praise the Lord. We are not standing in the path of sinners. We are standing in the position of faith. Praise the Lord. He said, not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are a part of your joy. For by faith, you stand. 
Somebody say, by faith, by faith. I, stand. I stand. By faith, by I'm, faith. Standing. I'm standing. As a godly woman, as a, as a godly man, a I'm standing by faith. I'm standing by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Romans 5.2 Romans 5, he said, therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace where we stand. Hallelujah. Amen. You see the position where we are standing? Amen. That is where we are standing. Amen. And that is where we should be standing Amen. as godly men and women. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is where we should be standing as godly men and women. Amen. Not walking in the counsel of the ungodly and not standing in the path of sinners. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now sit in Ephesians 2, 6. Said it, I read from verse, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you've been saved, and raised us up together, and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has made us to sit together. Some people, God has made us to sit in heavenly places. We are bringing ourselves down. We bring ourselves down from heavenly places. We are coming to sit with mockers. Praise the Lord. Some, some believers, they will come and sit with mockers. Praise the Lord. Amen. After today, you, de you must not sit where somebody is mocking you and mocking your God. Amen. You must not sit where somebody is mocking your brother and sister. Because if you are sitting with them, you are partaker of it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are Because you are a godly woman. You are a godly man. Amen. If you are sitting with them, you are a partaker of their sin. They are mocking your brother and your sister and you are there. You are laughing. Not doing anything about it. Not say, ah, I'm talking about my brother. Don't say that to her. You have no. Why? Because you go there. They give you drink. Ah, my sister, sit down. Yeah. Uh, sit down, do. Ah, then your sister will not church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. He said, we are seated in heavenly places. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is where we are seated. You know, God placed us high. We are placed high. But some of us, we are bringing ourselves down. From heavenly places. Say, I'm in heavenly places. I'm in heavenly I am seated in heavenly places. In heavenly places. Sometimes we are crying. Jesus will be looking at us. What are you doing down there? Mm. <laughs> Why are you down there crying? I put you here. You are down there crying. Who put you there? <laughs> How did you get there? That is not where I place you. That is not where I put you to sit. I put you to sit in heavenly places. You are there crying. Somebody say, come up higher. Come up Say, come up, come up higher. The Lord is calling us to come up to the level of godliness. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To come up to the level of godliness. Amen. Enough of ungodliness and unfaithfulness. Hallelujah. Amen. Colossians chapter 3 says, If then you were risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died, and your life is eating with Christ in God. My life is eating with Christ in God. <laughs> my life. Before you see my life, you have to see Christ. You have to come inside God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Before you see me, you will come inside Christ and come inside God. Yes. But some believers, they walk out of God and walk out of Christ. And they want God and Christ to follow them. No. He's not safe outside Christ. He's not safe outside God. No. He said, you are, read it again. Read it. Maybe my own is not correct. <laughs> yes, correct. What did he say? He said, for you died. And your life is hidden with Christ in God. Amen. Somebody said, my life. My life. Is hidden with Christ. Hidden with Christ. In God. No. Hallelujah. Yeah. So before devil we find you, we have to first of all go inside Christ. Yes. Before sickness and disease we find you, we we'll first of all go inside Christ. Amen. Before principalities we find you, they will first of all go inside Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If they can assess Christ, then they can assess you. Oh yes. If they can assess God, then they can assess you. But if they cannot, then they cannot assess you. Shakalabas. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I'm just talking to myself. They cannot assess me. Hallelujah. But sometimes.
Sometimes I think they can, yes. but they cannot. Amen. Because I am hidden with Christ Jesus. in God. Amen. Nothing can assess me that God Amen. will allow that is not the will of God. Oh, yeah. Anything that is not the will of God cannot assess me. Amen. Anything that is not the counsel of God cannot assess me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say it for yourself. Yes. You are saying hallelujah for me is good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Bless Amen. Amen. Before they assess you, they must assess Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Before anything assess you, they must assess God. If they can't, then they can assess you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because your life is hidden in Christ. With Christ in God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. And all the time. Is it good sometimes? All the time. All the time. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Amen. Now let's see Titus chapter 2. I'm rounding up. Titus 2 12. You see? For the grace. It says, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live so badly. Denying ungodliness and worldly lust. We must deny ungodliness. Enough of believers accepting ungodliness. Praise the Lord. He said, the grace of God is teaching us. It is the grace of God that is teaching us. Hallelujah. Amen. The grace of God is teaching us. Amen. 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 That denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly. Hallelujah. Amen. We know what it means to be sober. Amen. What does it mean to be sober? <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. Amen. God is calling us to live godly. In this present age, we have no choice. It is not a matter of choice. That is why Joshua said, Choose this day whom you will serve. It. It is, there is no choice in this one. He said, Live a godly life in this present age. Jesus is coming soon. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't know when he's coming. My husband said 30 years is too far. He might be in the morning. Mm -hmm. We don't know because he didn't tell us. So, some people they'll say if I if I if I do it I, tomorrow I will repent. Mm -hmm. We don't know whether Jesus will come before them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we must live soberly. Amen. Amen. We must live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. Amen. When things I I don't know what is happening all over the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. The only place we are safe is in Christ. Amen. Amen. The only place we are safe is in Christ. Because our life is hidden with him in God. We are safe in him. So we must live soberly. We must live righteously. Somebody say, I must live soberly. I must live, soberly. I must live righteously. I must live, I must live godly in this present age. Hallelujah. We must live godly in this present age. God is calling us to live godly. Amen. So live godly. And stop lying all those small, small lies. I'm telling you, sometimes we think there is big sin, there is small sin. I don't, it's not in the Bible. I don't know where people get their own dictionary. They will say there is big sin, there is small one. God didn't say there is big sin, there is small one. They, they, they say, oh no, that one, he sleep with somebody's wife, but me, I just tell small line, and God will forgive me. Praise the Lord. Is it not the same sin? Amen. It's the same sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, reward comes to both the ungodly and the godly. Reward comes to everybody. The ungodly will receive their reward. And the godly will receive their reward. Praise the Lord. But we are godly. Amen. Amen. Say, I am godly. I am godly. Amen. Amen. And our reward will come. Praise the Lord. And the godly will have their reward. Amen. Amen. Because it says in verse 4 of Psalm 1, it said, the ungodly are not so. Praise the Lord. It, it, you know, in verse 1, he talked about not sitting in the, in, not walking in the counsel of the ungodly, not standing in the path of sinners, and not sitting in the seat of the scornful. And he said, this is your reward. 
by not doing that. Praise the Lord. He said the delight of that man will be in the Lord, and in his law he will meditate day and night. It shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of waters, that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, and the ungodly will not prosper. Amen. But are like the, the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yeah, Say, the Lord knows my way. The Lord knows my way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we being blessed? Are we being blessed? Are we being blessed? Are we being blessed? Amen. Only the counsel of God will stand. Not the God ungodly counsel. Praise the Lord. Not the counsel of the enemy. The Bible says that the counsel of the nation, the God brings to nothing. It said only the counsel of God stands forever. It's taught to all generations. Hallelujah. Now I want us to rise up on our feet. There is a prayer I want us to pray. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 19. The Bible says in Psalm 19 verse 12. He said who can understand his error? Mm. Who can understand his errors? Praise the Lord. Put it in Amplified. Cleanse me from sacred fault and keep back your servant also from presumptuous signs. Let me not have dominion. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Now put it in verse 12. Let me read it. Amplified. Who can discern his lapses and errors? Nobody can discern their lapses and errors. They say, who can? That is what we are going to pray. Amen. Amen. Clean me from hidden and unconscious faults. There are hidden and unconscious faults that we have. Praise the Lord. That we are not aware of. Amen. Amen. But God are aware of them. And these are the things that brings down the man. These are the things that brings people down. Because they are hidden and unconscious faults that we are not aware of. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray God. He said who can discern his lapses and errors. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who can understand his errors? Lord, every lapses, every area that I lapse. Father, Lord, every error in my life, every error in my life, Father, Lord, I ask him that you cleanse me from every secret thought. Father, every error in my life, every area that I lapse, Lord, reveal it to me in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I want to be that godly man and that godly woman that you have destined and ordained me to be, Lord. I want to live a godly life. Father, Lord, I want to be blameless. I want to be spotless. Father, Lord, I ask him, every area that I lapse, Every error, every secret fault and hidden fault and unconscious fault, Father. Father, Lord, I ask that you reveal them from to me, Lord. Cleanse me from them, Father. Cleanse me, purge me from them, Lord. Father, tonight I pray. Lord, I ask tonight that you purge me from every hidden and secret fault. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, reveal my errors to me. Lord, reveal my errors to me. Reveal my errors to me. That Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you. Father, I give you praise. Blessed be your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. He said, keep back your servant also from presumptuous sin. You know what presumptuous sins are? Sin of pride and arrogance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sin of pride and arrogance. Praise the Lord. Some of us, we might not be fornicating or lying or do, but we are arrogant. We are proud. God cannot talk to us. We cannot take instructions. Praise the Lord. We cannot take instruction. We cannot submit. We cannot listen to God. We cannot be obedient. We are proud, proudful and arrogant. That's what we want to pray now. Hallelujah. He said, keep your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. That I will be that godly man that you have called me to be. That I will be that godly woman that you have ordained me to be, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, keep back your servant. Lord, keep me from presumptuous sin. Lord, keep me from every sin of pride. Keep me from every sin of arrogance. In the name of Jesus, keep me, Father, from every sin of rebellion, every sin of disobedience. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, keep me, Lord, from every presumptuous sin. Lord, let them not have dominion over me. Lord, let them not have dominion 
dominion over me. Lord, let them not have dominion over me so that I will become that godly woman that you want me to be. So that I will become that godly man that you have ordained me to be, Father. In the name of Jesus, so that I will be innocent and be clear of great transgression. Father, punch me. Father, punch me. Father, wash me. Father, cleanse me. Father, purify me, Lord. Purify my heart, Lord. Purify me, Father, from every presumptuous sin. Purify my, my heart. Purify my heart, Lord. Cleanse my heart, Father, that I will be blameless, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Verse 14, he said, let not, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to your, in your sight, O Lord. Strength Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said after he has prayed, he said, Lord, let the, my words and the words of the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. So let's pray. Hallelujah. Lord, let the words of my mouth, Lord, and let the meditation of my heart, Lord, be acceptable in your sight, oh Lord. My strength and my redeemer, Lord. Father, let my words and the meditation of my heart be acceptable. Be acceptable in your sight, Lord. Oh God, my strength and my redeemer. 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 Oh Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you glory, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. We adore you, Father. Father, thank you for purifying us. Father, Lord, I thank you. Because when you get this demon, oh Father, Lord, you knew what you were doing. You want us to become that godly women that you have ordained us to be or to live a godly life, a life of godliness, too much of ungodliness. You want us to live a righteous life, a holy life, a godly life, Father. Father, we thank you for purifying us, for washing us, for cleansing us, Father, for, for washing our heart, our spirit, Father, for making us pure. The Bible says that God said a pure heart. I will not despise. Father, we thank you for washing our heart pure. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let's give him a clap offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we worship you. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah.